Thank you, John Wadsworth, for this sample. Now we're going to do a short review. That's so sweet of you to send it. New series idea. New series. It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome to a new series, Short and Sweet, where the samples are short. And the cinnamon is sweet. Yeah. That you sent it. There you go. Very kind of you. So what are we looking at today, Sarah? On our inaugural Short and Sweet. This uh -huh. is a 1972 Old Crow, four years old, 86 proof. But Chad, this is uh, before Jim Beam acquired Old Crow, which means that it's means National Distillers. National Distillers, um, which has- Also makes one of our most favorite things as ever. As of this time, yeah, made our favorite thing ever which was uh, an old granddad 114 that was from the 80s. Early 80s. Uh, so this is a little lower proof. Now you you might be thinking, is is this a uh, chessman? I looked it up. I don't, it is not a chessman. It does, does not look like it's a chessman, but regardless, this is national distiller juice from the, from the, seven, from the 70s. From the 72s. We love having uh, vintage stuff shared with us. It's so nice. I mean, sometimes it's the only way we can ever try them. Yeah. Time warp back. Do the time see, warp. See what it was like. I mean, you can just tell from the nose that this isn't a distillery that exists anymore. Right. Um, very kind of uh, caramel heavy, which mm -hmm. we just, you know, sort of find on like, um, especially wild turkey stuff. Yeah, old turkey. Vintage wild turkey stuff. 70s and 80s, that's yeah. the best. Yeah, it definitely has that rich carameliness, but also it has a tiny bit of that vintage funk that lets you know <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. a bourbon of yesteryear. Yesteryear. Days, Days of, of yore. yore. I knew it. Mm. I was like, I gotta take it before he gets it. All right, uh, cheers to John Wadsworth. Cheers. Thanks, John. Mm. Both the caramel mm -hmm. and the vintagey funk. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got some some funk, funk to find mm -hmm. there on the more on the back end. I feel like, but it is. But there's like oak and tobacco there too. Yeah. I think. And you know the proof, eighty six proof. Um, you know, one, we say some of our favorite 80 proofs are vintage 80 proofs because they just seem to have more. They carry a lot of flavor. In there. Mm -hmm. um, 86 is like today's, I don't know, mid 90s. I don't know. There's not really a hard and fast rule. It's the new 30. It's the new 30. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the new black. I don't know. Um, but 86 proof in like the 70s is still giving you this warmth. Mm. Whereas today, I don't know. It may or may not. It, I, Results always vary, right? Depending on who's talking about it. But in this instance, I think it is giving you a hug mm -hmm. um, on the first sip, which you don't get a lot on normal 86ers. I wouldn't say the finish is all that long. I mean, I'd call it a medium finish. I'm actually surprised at how long it hangs around. I've also had my second sip uh, for, for 86 proof. But I think, you know, usually the concern is when days of, or in today's whiskey world, when mm -hmm. you have things that are 80 and 90 proof that so much water has been added that you lose the character yeah. of the whiskey. And we find that to be true, but something about how they distilled, you know, in the 70s and 80s and before, I don't know, it allows the whiskey to keep it so much of its character, even with the water added. So I don't mind things, you know, from the 80s and the 70s being no. lower proof. I mean, there's so many differing things that, that you could point to as, as being different from back then to today. I think a lot of it has to do with automation. We were just listening to some people talk about this just of the day. Like today, everything's automated to the mm -hmm. second when the temperature has changed or, you know, this valve is turned where back and then you have people who were stepping out on a smoke break and coming back and like, oh, that's too hot. Yeah. And then you turn it and then how long for that to get back down in temperature. So probably- And they call it today's stuff handcrafted. <laughs> right. Everything's handcrafted- By with, computers. By automation. I handcrafted this. But, you know, probably back then you would say less consistency from batch to batch. So at least we probably have more consistency, but that also makes for these just great experiences. They're like, wow, this one is really special. And I so, guess I it's know, more it's of a gamble too though. It yeah. is more of a gamble. It's a, give, it's and a give, take. And, give and take. Sure. You know what I am getting that sort of links this to that uh, old granddad 114 hmm. is after three or four sips on the finish, sort of that, um, dark date or plum mm. uh, fig type of uh, feeling here in the chest. It's yeah. less pronounced on this one, 
than it is the 114. I think that's just because of the proof, but I do see that through line and I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I can see where they're related. I definitely think though that they're treated very differently mm -hmm. under the, each of the brands. Like yeah. I wouldn't say, so take that for what you will, you know, everything from National Distillers isn't gonna be pure gold. Right. Not saying that this isn't delicious, it mm -hmm. is, but you know, would I say it, it competes with our favorite thing that we've ever tasted? Probably not. I think right. maybe proof has something to do with it, but I think however they treat that OGD 114 mm -hmm. from 1983 was. And that OGD is not age dated. This uh, does have, you know, John wrote four years on here. Mm -hmm. For a four year bourbon, this is tasting like it Very has tasty. a lot of character. Yeah. Something that, you know, you could argue again, yesteryear versus today. How's that stack up? But overall, a very nice vintage. Happy to have it shared with us. A very big thank you yes. to John Wadsworth. And uh, you'll be seeing more of this. Again, it's going to be a series. Short reviews. And it's sweet that you sent it. There you go. <laughs> hey, want to tell you real quick about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get hats, t-shirts, glassware, candles, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. That's where we'll leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, click right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. I'll see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, John. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.